that my wife wanted a fur coat for Christmas. I ain't going to tell you no stories, I'm just going to sing about what happened, okay? <laughs> Since all her friends has got one, my wife's want one too. A fur coat. And there ain't nothing else going to do. Said she'd look real classy. Make me proud of her. If I just run down to the store and buy her a fur. Well, she got me to think about that I was going to swing that kind of deal. She knows we can't afford nothing like that, and I'm too afraid to steal. But the problem finally solved itself like a bolt out of the blue. It jumped right out in front of me on highway number two. That big old German shepherd, my car we didn't see. He went to doggy heaven, left his hide down here with me. For six long weeks in the basement, I worked on it every night. It was trial and error. But I finally got it right. Then I put it in a Captain Crunch box and I took it upstairs to her. She jumped right up and kissed me when she'd seen her fur. Now she's got that fuzzy fur coat hangs all the way down to her knees. But she's been complaining lately. Says her closet's plum full please. She don't know old Fido is wrapped around her tight. She's putting on the dog when she goes out at night. No, <laughs> she don't know that old Fido is wrapped around her tight. She's really putting on the dog when she goes out at night. Now she's been real depressed since I backed out over the cat. But I think she's gonna smile real big when I show her that new fur hat. <laughs> Thank you, Paul.